In the top right we have the monitor section. The most important controls are the controls on the monitor itself. This is the uh, level that you'll hear the sound through the speakers in the control room. Above that we have the mode of the monitoring which defaults to stereo and by pressing the button twice, three times in fact, uh, you get 5.1 monitoring if you're doing surround and then back to stereo again. Underneath the control room level control is an alt monitor button. This will change between the two different monitoring speakers. In this room that's between the General X and currently the Dyna Audios. We then have a headphone level. This is the level of the headphones that feed directly from the control surface itself that you can plug in and listen to in this room. Moving along we have a level for studio loudspeakers which get fed through to the speakers in the recording studio. Then we have the Q level. This is the level that gets sent to the headphone amps. Underneath that there's a button marked Main to Q and this is a very quick way of getting a headphone mix. If you press this button anything that you're listening to on the control room output in the speakers in this room will automatically be duplicated to the headphone amplifiers. So that's quite a quick way of getting a rough and ready headphone mix but it will be the same as what you're listening to in the studio. The uh, listen mic we're not using currently, the talkback mic is built into the control surface and accessed by the button down near the transport controls and this is the level at which that microphone feeds into the cue send so make sure this is not turned right down otherwise you'll be very quiet when you're trying to speak to the band or the artist in the next room. Below this we've got some buttons the left hand corner here we've got a mute, uh, a dim and a mono button so mute obviously kills the outputs of the speakers, dim reduces it uh, so if you need to talk to somebody or answer the phone, if um, you've got somebody calling, then you can press the dim button and that will just reduce the level of loudspeakers and then uh, put them back to the same level again. Mono clearly puts them into mono. Underneath that, these are the whatever outputs are going to be monitored through the speaker. So main is the main product's output. An alternative surround input, this is so we can monitor playback from a surround source. Or stereo 1, stereo 2 which is basically if you've got a CD player or some other thing plugged in through the patch bay you can check that back so if you're bringing in a, a reference CD or something you can plug that in through the patch bay and, and monitor it and then alt alternate it with the Pro Tools output. You can actually sum these together with the button at the end so that actually you can hear the main and the stereo one so you can have both play at once if you should choose to do that. Talkback button um, feeds the microphone on the control desk into the headphone feed. It has two functions, two modes. If you press, you're talking to the headphones. If you release, obviously you're not. Um, so you can just talk and then release, talk and release. If you double click, then it stays lit, flashing. That means it's permanently on now, so that rather than having to hold your finger on the button, you can now have a conversation with the artist next door without having to keep finger on the button. Be careful though in case you are in this mode and somebody in the back of the room starts criticising the singer because they will in fact hear it and you can press it again to, to um, come out of that mode. 